Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can monitor and control the temperature on your Lynx 5210. Now for today's demonstration, we don't actually have a Lynx 5210 up on our wall, but we do have the L7000, which is exactly the same as the L5210. The only difference is the screen size. The L5210 has a smaller screen. That is the only difference between both systems. So anything you see me do today on the L7000 is gonna be exactly the same that you do on your L5210. Now, the first thing we need to make sure is if you're looking to monitor and control your thermostat from your panel, you first need to have a Z-Wave thermostat, right? So as long as it has a Z-Wave include and exclude, you're perfectly okay to use it. And then the second thing you need to have is a Z-Wave module for your L5210. For your L5210. Now, the Z-Wave module is not something that comes with the system. It's something that you buy separately. I think it's somewhere around 20, 30 bucks maybe. You can find it online anywhere. We have it on our site as well. Um, but basically you buy it, you install it while the system is powered down. I have mine already installed in the panel. I'll show you guys in a second where it goes. And then after you have the Z-Wave module in there and after you have a Z-Wave thermostat in your house, then you can actually monitor and change the temperature up, down, whatever you guys wanna do, create scenes, create rules. You can actually do all of that through the L5210. And if you have the L5210 monitored, you can use Total Connect. And if you have automation enabled on Total Connect, you can also create the scenes uh, through the Total Connect application from your phone, and you can control the temperature from the application on your phone or website as well. Now, let me go ahead and open the panel up, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it goes installed. So, to open the system up, there's two tabs at the very top, right and left of the system. You're gonna need something sturdy. Today I'm gonna use this small little flat head. If you don't have any tools, you can always use a key, something metal, something that's sturdy. And there's two little plastic latches at the top that you just push down and you pop each side open. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop my right side first. The panel will start beeping, letting me know that there's a cover tamper. If you just tap a button, to quiet it down it should stop beeping so that it doesn't bother you guys and then the second one is always the hardest one to pop there we go so now that I swing it down now my cellular communicator is actually in the way of the z-wave module but you see how right here on the right hand side the Wi-Fi module if you if you're looking at it swung open and swung down the Wi-Fi modules on the right hand side the ELF, the uh, Z-Wave module is plugged in on the left-hand side over here, the same way that this is plugged into this little board right here. The Z-Wave module has the same attachment, but you can't see it because this uh, cellular module, the 3GL module is in the way. But that's where the Z-Wave module would go and uh, it just plugs directly into the side. And again, you wanna make sure when you're doing this, you power the system completely down. So to do that, you unplug the backup battery right here, this little plastic latch right here. And then if you guys have an LT cable, or if you guys have it hardwired for power on in these two terminals, you just um, you unplug it from the wall. I would not recommend unwiring from there if you have the live wires, because you can fry your system or possibly get a small little electrocuted. Uh, but it's always uh, easier if you have the LT cable. If you have uh, them spliced in, you just have to unplug it from the wall. And again, that's what you're gonna do to install the Z-Wave module. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sh shut the system back up. It should just click into place. And if you guys did install it and are getting a cover tamper, you just press the home button two times and you just disarm the system. After you've closed the cover, you have to do that twice, remember? and then the cover tamper will go away. I'm still getting a low battery, but my cover tamper no longer shows. So once you have your Z-Wave module installed, you have your Z-Wave thermostat, um, you gotta first exclude any devices. So this is just good practice when it comes to any Z-Wave devices. You always wanna exclude them first. Remember these are factory tested and they may not have been cleared uh, when they were tested. So you always wanna make sure you delete any programming or you may find yourself having issues. So after you've excluded it, then you can include it, and then you can mess around with it. Now, I already have mine already included into my system, so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how I can actually turn up and turn out the temperature in the office. Um, so you're gonna wanna go to automation. 
Um, and uh, I'm just going to go to thermostats. You see mine right now. I just have it a normal thermostat 230. That's the default name that it was given to it. Um, when I click on it, it takes you to all the to all the modes. You can set it to cool. You can turn it off. You can set it to heat. Um, I'm going to set mine to cool. You can move the temperature down. You can move the temperature up. You can set it to the fan to auto, just to on, circulate. Um, again, it all depends on the kind of AC, AC system, HVAC system that you have. Um, and uh, there's a couple of other options you can play with. I'm just going to leave mine like this for now. You can hit the back arrow key. You can even go in as far as creating scenes. And you can even create rules. So you can make a scene um, that it turns the temperature down to, let's say, or turns the temperature to 78. And then the rule would be when you arm away, turns the temperature to 78. You can make another one that sets the temperature to 71 and set the rule to when you disarm, when you get home, it turns down the temperature to 71, which is the scene. So there's a lot of different things that you can play around with. It's a lot easier if you guys are using the Total Connect app and automation to set the scenes as there's an actual wizard that walks you through every setup. Uh, so it's a lot easier doing it that way. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick video on how to control and monitor your thermostats through your Z-Wave thermostat through an L5210 or in our case, the L7000 today. It's the exact same process. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the channel, and enable the notifications so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.